Gentlemen, we need to cut the budget of production. Any suggestions? What if we use robots? Robots are costly. We won't see a profit for at least another decade. Gentlemen, I know how to fix this. We just move our factories to other countries where we can use kids, like we did with the orphanage. We barely got through that lawsuit last time, Al. Well, what if we just raise the cost by five cents? I bet we could see a profit within a year, and I don't even think the customers will notice. Well, five... if you really want to raise the price, the best option would be to raise it by three dollars. Susan, I told you no interruptions when I'm in my meeting. Now, now, let's just be calm so that we can win this and you can go to heaven. I hate to break it to you, but he is going straight to hell. Roll the memory. Lola. But it had it coming. It peed on my leg. So you hit a five-month-old puppy because it wasn't potty trained. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Okay. All right. Now it's my turn. Here, we have Al baking a cake for his son. Yeah, that's good and all, but let's show what the ingredients really were. You have to toughen up your stomach if you're gonna eat with clients overseas. Some countries have really strange food. Hey! You can't go around playing my memories. Let me live again. You saw the video. Russ can't take over the company. He's not ready yet. Albert, you can't go back. Your only option is to come with me to heaven. I want to request a recess, please. I'll allow five minutes. You have got to help me. You must have done some good in your life. Can you remember anything? Listen, I was the small fry my whole life, so I had to get hard on people to climb the ladder. I wasn't interested in making friends. What about your son? He never listened to me, so I had to be hard on him. Otherwise, he'd get stepped on. So you were trying to help your son succeed? Yes. I have an idea. It's a brilliant idea. I know it's against the guidelines, but I would like to call a witness. A witness? Sir! Hmm. I'll allow it this once. I call Russ, the defendant's son, to the stand. Huh? Russ, Michael, what are you doing? Your father just died, and his soul is on trial. Oh, okay. Well, I hope he has a good time in hell. Can I go now? How can you be so salty? I did everything for you. You were a terrible father, okay? You never let me hang out with my friends. You were strict with my grades. You beat me with a belt when I got an A minus. You were horrible. You don't understand, Russ. I was just trying to protect you. If I treated you rough, then you would learn you need to get respect. But I didn't mean to hurt you. I only did it because I love you. No, Dad. 
Everyone knows that you're the small fry, okay? Everybody hates you, but they love me. And the company is gonna be better off without you. No. Yeah. Thanks, Michael. You've done my work for me. Yeah, I know I didn't tell you before, but I didn't want you to think I was soft. So what you're saying is you are truly sorry for your sins. Yeah, I am. I think that counts as a confession. Objection! There's no priest around. That's not a valid confession. Oh, but it does. Look here, the Catechisms of the Catholic Church, Article 4, Subsection 1452. You're right. It's a perfect contrition. Exactly. My client is truly sorry and has every intention to change. Rebuttal? I... Uh, I... With no rebuttal, I hereby appoint Albert G. Rotten to be officially deemed as purged. He may enter heaven. It's time to go. Well, I guess this is it, Russ. Goodbye.